Welcome back to Kevin's Backyard. Today we're going to be talking about baking on your grill. Yes, I said that, baking on your grill. We're going to be doing cookies, which is something I love to do throughout the year, especially at holiday time. And what my family and I will do is we'll set up five or six kettles. Each person will do their own individual cookies. They all go on at the same time and they all come off at the same time. There's no fighting to see who gets in first and who's going to be last. This is something simple and easy to do. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. Now before we get started with our cookies, we need to talk about setting up our grill. And today we're using the indirect method. So we're going to pour half the charcoal in one basket, half the charcoal in the other. We're looking for the perfect baking temperature of 350 degrees. Once the charcoal is in the grill, we're going to take our cooking grate, get that inside, close the lid, and now move to the main attraction, our cookies. Let's talk about our cookie dough. And here we have two different types. We have our fresh, and then we have our pre-made. Either one will be perfect on the grill. You just need to remember two things. Number one, the temperature. If your oven calls for 350, that's what you need to set your grill up for. And number two, if it calls for six to eight minutes, it needs to be six to eight minutes on your grill. There is no difference in the time. The heat source is the same. Indirect heat in your oven is gonna be the same as on your grill. Now that we've gotten that taken care of, I'm gonna roll out my fresh dough, cut my last two cookies, and then we're gonna get that on the barbecue grill. Once the thermometer says 350 degrees, open the lid and place the cookies directly in the center of the cooking grate, away from the heat. Close the lid and get your timer set as quick as possible. Our cookies are done and now it's time to decorate them. And you can see we've already got that process started. The one thing I love about baked goods is there's always extra for my family and friends. And I wanna leave you with a couple tips before we get out of here. First, today we use a traditional 26 and 3 quarter inch kettle. The cook times are the same as what it would be in your oven. Now, if you have porcelain enamel cast iron grates, which many of our gas grills do, you're gonna take about 20 to 30% of that cook time off. And do yourself a favor, always do a test batch before you go live with the real thing. And promise me one last thing. The next time that you're baking something on your grill, share it with me. And for all your extra grill knowledge and inspiration, find us here on Kevin's Backyard.